So I had my survey class this morning and we, again, didn't do anything. We came back, had lunch, and then I had my presentation on the order of operations, which I was panicking over. And of course, you know, I've been like working on the film and worrying about all this stuff and I didn't think like, like how, I'm not going to prepare for this presentation all that much. Like sure, because I already wrote the paper, I already turned that in last week, like the information's there, I made a PowerPoint, but it's like I'm not going to make and memorize a speech because that's just going to make me really anxious and I clearly had other things to worry about. So I didn't, and so then I was panicking about that all day. Um, I went second to last, and you know what, it really, it really wasn't that bad. I honestly don't remember. Um, all I know is I did end up, okay, so last night, you know, in my, after I finished the movie when I was still up for like an hour, then I went through the PowerPoint and made note cards for myself because I figured I was allowed to use note cards. I saw a girl do it last class. So anyway, so I was like, note cards. I never give presentations, especially with note cards. Anyway, um, and so I made these note cards, and oh, Tatiana, if you see this, thank you so much for listening to me at lunch. I didn't eat lunch. I haven't eaten anything today. I ate two bites of salad, and it was nasty, so I'm like, no. And then we were sitting there, and I made Tatiana listen to basically an impromptu version of my entire presentation. Sorry, thank you, you are the greatest ever, and you're awesome. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I, I didn't even end up using my note cards, thank God. Good job, Tess, good job. I don't know how long it was, um, I know it didn't go over the time limit, I honestly have no idea, I was like, I'm just gonna talk, I'm just gonna talk about the information, and I'm just gonna talk, and like, see how it goes from there. Um, and I only had to make fun of myself one time, so that was good to try and like <laughs> relieve some of the awkwardness because I felt like everyone was super super bored with my thing. I don't know. Which like I don't care. I'm never gonna see these people again. This was my last class. Like the final is a week from today. But like whatever. I'm not gonna see you fools again. I might I probably will, but anyway. Um and so <sighs> Oh god, it's been so it's been such a long like five days ah <sighs> and so presentation I think went pretty well she liked it she she had three comments after my teacher and they were like complimentary so cool <laughs> um and then so just you know even having that off my chest and so I wore the dress and stuff because I felt like I should dress up for presentations and I always like to wear a dress when on like film viewing days I don't know why but I just like to and well, I probably wouldn't have dressed up this much, but yeah. <sighs> so I didn't have to dress up for the presentation. I just felt like I should probably because I was so nervous. So I didn't want people to take me kind of seriously. I don't know. It's awkward because I'm like a first semester freshman. I don't know anyone. I feel like there are like hardly any freshmen in my class. I know of two, They're, like 20 or 25 people. And then I know all these people who aren't freshmen. And I'm like, <sighs> and but. <laughs> Social anxiety. Me, the definition of not speaking in correct sentence order. Anyway, so we ended up getting out early, really early. So I went over to the communications building per usual and was sitting outside on the patio area on the third floor. What are these buildings? It's so warm outside. I'm in, I couldn't wear a sweater because it was too hot. 82 and sunny and it's beautiful and I'm loving it. It's like perfect right now. Perfect. And then everyone's sending me pictures of Michigan and I'm like, why am I going back? Crying. Hey. And what else happened? I'm sorry. Um, what was I talking about? Oh my god, it's so cold. It's 14 degrees at home right now, apparently. I'm crying. Yeah, my brother sent me a picture, and it was, crying. um, like, negative three degrees. Oh my god! And I was like, you're insane. Well, at least it's not negative three. Something stupid. It wasn't, like, right. snowing. It no, because, like, I was, like, standing in at the mirror today doing my hair, and I was like, 
It's December 10th. <laughs> what is Florida? What is Florida? Um, the song of the week is, or artist of the week, the songs of the week are going to be really, really boring because uh, the artist of the week, I mean, not boring. I think they're awesome. Anyways, Explosions in the Sky because the music is phenomenal and has no lyrics. And so it's great study music. So I figured finals. Artist of the week. I've been saving it. Anyway. What was I talking about? I'm so sorry. This is 24 minutes long. Um, oh, so I get this. This is why I don't even, this is why I'm in like such a hyper, really, really upbeat, positive mood because like, I don't know. The universe is just like, just demanded that I had a really, really good day today or something like, it's super, and so I'm really, really trying to appreciate this because people so often feel like just like the world isn't going their way, you know? And it's like, so we all have a tendency to just focus on the bad because when that's happening, then that's, you know, it seems like that's all that happens. So I'm really trying to like talk about all the awesome stuff. Um, like, oh my goodness. Oh, also, after on Monday, after my first test, then I had to, luckily I finished sort of early, so I made it to my psychology class early because I was so afraid, that's when I have to take the bus to, so I was afraid I was going to be late, like usual, but for the test, which also went pretty well, yay, on this project thing, again, I got like a freaking B because stupid reasons, no reason at all. Oh, that project, I know all about it. Wow, sorry, that just happened. <laughs> anyway, but I ended up getting like a 93.5, I think, on the test, which is my highest grade in that class so far, so yay! And she drops the lowest test grade, which I need, because I think I got a 78 on one test, so that's why I'm taking the final. Anyway, um, so yeah, so back to the universe being like, just, because I was, I was like, fine, I was, I was in good mood, I'm like, I'm done with the presentation, I'm technically done with the film, I hadn't turned it in yet, but it's like, it was done. So, like, done with really all the stress of these two days that have been freaking me out for the past week and a half. Um, and so, you know, I was good. I was, I was in a good mood. I was happy. I was done. And then the universe is like, no, you know what, Tess Carmen? We're going to make shit even better for you. So, <laughs> I'm so excited. Just, ah, life is awesome right now. And it's so, so I'm trying to, like, just savor that as much as possible because obviously things are not going to stay this amazing considering I have finals and stuff, but you know what? For now, gotta enjoy it. So, um, so I'm sitting outside on the patio wondering where everyone else is really because normally I'm like the last person to get there. We all go there before class anyway. So then my teacher walks by and I'm like <laughs> awkwardly like snapchatting pictures of me and like the blue sky and palm trees and stuff. And then my teacher, like, comes and fetches me, basically. And, um, so I'm like, well, that was awkward. And then says that he wants to export the movies in his office, like, on that, on his actual computer, I guess. Because we've had issues exporting movies. Anyway, so I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So glad I didn't have to find his office on my own because, I like, I sort of remember where I was, but, you know me, social anxiety, anyway, um, turns out nobody else moved either, so many people asked, anyway, so I, like, walk up with him to his office, and then he says at one point that, like, I don't remember exactly what it is, but something along the lines of, like, he's still gonna, like, honor our deal, I guess he said, and I was, like, stunned because I didn't really think that that was, that was a thing. I don't know. I, okay, because, so for the last film, you know, I had all the struggles in the world and all the struggles in the world. And my partner was slightly less than helpful in some many respects. And really the reason that it was that it went as poorly as it did um 
so like I uh, I feel bad saying that but it's like I really did my best to salvage it like I worked so hard on that and it was still shit that's why nobody's ever going to see it ever anyway um and so no so I like remember I talked about that I think in one video how like then my professor like called me out into the hallway basically and is like like I'm not gonna like let this really negatively impact your grade and stuff and we ended up getting an 85 on the project which I cried over in one video not the 85 the project itself <laughs> anyway um yeah and so then I just I was like oh I guess that didn't happen again because the 85 was better than I think we deserved on that so I was like you know, I'll take it. Um, and then he just said that out of the blue, and I was like, Universe, what is happening right now? So, I assume that's what he's talking about, and that's, like, crazy exciting. Because, honestly, I still think I'm going to get an A in the class anyway, but, like, that's so cool. Um, oh my god, and so I'm still reeling from that really and the project I liked a lot of course that's the one with the close-up on my face I will insert a link in here I probably will earlier I'm so sorry this is half an hour Emily I'm so sorry um I think you deserve one free pass on a punishment for having to watch this video or maybe I'll do a punishment because it's so long but that would just add to the length of it huh Maybe I'll do a punishment for my next video. Like, I'll record it now and put it in my next video. I'm probably going to do that anyway. Sorry, I'm trying to talk really quickly. I need to go to the store and buy food because I have no food and I need food. We have no classes tomorrow. That's fun. Um, I have a final on Thursday. I have a paper due Friday. I have another final Monday and another final Tuesday. And then I'm coming home on Wednesday at, like, 1130. So that'll be really, really exciting. Um, <laughs> oh, I got a suitcase. My parents ordered me a suitcase. Funny story, apparently my mom, I'm just trying to like rattle off things now, apparently my mom accidentally switched like the billing and shipping address, so it got billed to me and shipped to my house, so they had to order another one, so anyway, I have a big suitcase now, so I can use that to go home, I'm feeling really, really lightheaded, I think it's from lack of water, the hyperventilating before my presentation, the fact that I haven't eaten anything today, I'm speaking really, really quickly, and, <sighs> okay, <sighs> I have a red velvet cupcake because Kayla gave me one yesterday and I'm really, really excited and I saved it. So I have that in my fridge and I'm about to eat it and I'm really excited. Um, <laughs> the pauses are really defeating the purpose of me. So in a suitcase, it's really big, really big. It's like short, but really, really wide. So I have to check a bag now. But I'm coming home for three weeks. Speak slowly. I'm coming home for three weeks and it's boot season. So I needed something bigger than that little one. So I'm going to see you multiple times. I'm so excited. I'm basically going to force my friends to all come together. We're going to have a, a movie party just like we used to all the time, sophomore year, because we're finally all home, hopefully. Um, I'll get to that later. What else is happening? We, oh, on, so you know, The Hobbit comes out Friday, but everyone has, like, physics exam or something Friday, so no one will go with me to the midnight premiere, and I'm not about to go to that shit by myself. I'm sorry, that is not safe. Um, and so hopefully, fr so I'm determined, Friday night, we're all gonna go, and we're gonna have fun, and that'll be, like, our pre, cause, like, mid-finals, because we have the whole weekend to study, so Friday night we can do stuff, we should take a break from all the craziness. So I think, so there was some talk last night about maybe doing a Hobbit Frozen double feature, which is literally like an uncontrollable, the awesome dream come true for my mind. So hopefully that happens. Really, 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 really hope that happens because I want to see Frozen again because it was amazing. And I really, really want to see The Hobbit. If I had to choose, I would see The Hobbit. Probably because I've already seen Frozen, but mostly just because The Hobbit, Martin Freeman, Benedict Cumberbatch, like, need I go on? Like, all my favorite things are in this movie. And I'm so excited. Anyway. Speaking of Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman, Sherlock, Series 3, starting December, January 1st. I... Tess, your brain. Figure it out. I need to eat something today. Um... So, another funny story from yesterday. So, I was 
I don't know if I was like really, really tired. Yeah, I was probably really tired from only getting like three or four hours of sleep the night before. Um, so I came in here and like tried to take a nap, which naturally just meant me like laying here and like reading or whatever for an hour or two. And then, so I was, I was, I don't know, I was, you know, like out of it, basically like mentally sleeping, even though I was reading, but you know. And then my friends came and got me to go to dinner. So I was like really, really, really out of it again. Also, probably from the four hours of sleep I had the night before. And I swear, that was like the day of seeing people in the dining hall. We saw who, we saw David Tennant hair guy in the elevator. We saw Salad Girl. We saw, I realized that these names mean nothing. Text me because I don't want to tell stories on the internet of people that I go to college with. We saw, I ran into that one guy who was in my class and went to our school. And who I like, I've only seen him a couple times. Anyway, we said hi. It was weirdly like casual and I was like uh, okay I still need to get a picture with him it's awkward if you're watching this sir not gonna say your name on the internet um because I don't do that that's I don't like doing that to people anyway because I like promised other people that I would do that just because shenanigans from last year oh math classes anyway and then and I saw my film partner from the last project, and he, like, asked me how my film was, and I was like, oh, are we talking? Um, uh, it's, because uh, I was still only halfway through editing. There was a lot of stress involved with that. Um, it's awkward that I'm just sitting here with the door open talking to myself. Worse than myself, talking to my computer. No, that's not worse than myself. That's better than talking to myself. <sighs> Tonight at 7, so in an hour and a half, I've been talking for 35 minutes. I'm so sorry, Emily is a Doctor Who party. What? I'm such a nerd and I love it. Um, yeah. We're, the club, the official club, the, like, school-sanctioned official club is having a viewing party of the 50th and then we're gonna have a discussion after, which I'm really excited about because I like to rant about this, obviously. Um, so that's happening. I'm so excited, although, I don't know, because I look really, really cute and it's a shame, but I've I kind of want to change into my Doctor Who t-shirt. Regardless, I'm going to bring my Sonic because if I have a Sonic, where else am I going to, like, why, why else would I have a Sonic? What else am I ever going to do with it if not take it to this party? Anyway, so the thing is, so Sherlock is starting January 1st now. It's actually airing January 19th in the U.S., but as we all know, I don't play those games, and... So I will watch it the first. Um, and then Community is airing the second, and so my friend and I really, really, really wanted to have a viewing party. Um, so we figured, like, we wanted to have a viewing party, party for both, and then we're like, hey, they're a day apart, let's just viewing party them, right? And literally, like, the day after we started to talk about plans of viewing party, then um, my dad asked me if, so we're also um, over winter break, I'm gonna go to Arizona, apparently, to visit my cousins! Yay! Oh, I wonder if I can get them in the video. Anyway, so I'm really, really excited to see them. I've seen them a lot this year, more than normal. Anyway, um, and we haven't been to Arizona in forever, and they always complain about how we don't visit them. They always come up here for, up here being Michigan, for the summer, um, a week. Anyway, so we're probably going there, but the thing is, my dad's like, what if we leave New Year's Day? And I'm like, but viewing party, but I didn't say anything because I'm not gonna like choose friends over family and because New Year's Day is a great day to travel really, I think, probably, right? Anyway, so probably doing that for like a week, but then I come back and then I have, I'm pretty sure I have another week at home, so I'll still get to see you, don't worry. Um, anyway, I mean, I don't know, I'm excited to see them. I'm bummed about the viewing party. Anyway, so we're still going to do because Doctor Who Christmas special in which Matt Smith leaves and I will cry my face off is on Christmas, so probably right after. Then we're going to have a viewing party of that. I will force people to have a viewing party of that, even if it's just, a, just the same people who came for the 50th. We're going to have a viewing party. Because I don't want to watch that alone. I'm probably going to end up watching it alone anyway. I'm going to cry buy all the tears. Maybe I'll see if Brandy can come over. Oh, I'll have to like force myself to not watch it. Like, it'll be painful, but I'll force myself. Regardless, I, even if I have to watch it alone, I'm gonna watch Sherlock because I'm sorry. <laughs> Two years in between seasons? I'm not waiting for that shit anymore. Um, yeah, trailers are coming out now and it's like, 
this is happening like I watched that a year ago a year ago like now and I I had like accepted that it's never ever going to come back out like even it's just you know in an indefinite hiatus and then all of a sudden now it's like here like it's happened in like a month less than a month then it's here and that is like the most surreal weird thing I know you really really care about me talking about TV for 40 minutes I'm so sorry Emily I'll do a punishment Ugh. I should split this into two videos I don't like to do that but they'll each be 20 minutes so I probably should um, we watched the cuttlefish video again yesterday I should really stop talking. I think that's everything. That's all my funny stories, everything that's happened the last couple days. I think so much has happened because I don't sleep also. Considering I'm up like 20 hours a day, that's probably why I have so much to talk about. I'm going to go now. Goodbye. Stopping it right before 40 minutes. I'm so sorry again.